There are two cameras that track simultaneously through the two buildings in pursuit of two figures that are fleeing the frame of the screen. The main inspiration came from the realization that these two buildings, which were constructed almost two centuries apart and in these two very different cities, have almost exactly the same layout. The climate uh, inside the United States that has been created by the rhetoric of this presidential campaign is quite scary. Uh, and I think anything that culture can do to push back against that is you know, significant and worthwhile. My work is kind of a tribute to the undocumented immigrants that are living um, in Europe in generally and very particularly in Venice. Uh, it is produced by taking the measures of the outlines of the carpets on which the street hawkers in Venice put their goods. America is a democratic country applying supposedly human rights, but then when it comes to the uncomfortable situation of the immigrants, we close the border. How come you don't respect the rights that you wrote yourselves? Because the human rights, of course, are not written by Tunisians or Emiratis or Chinese. This particular work is entirely made from couscous and it's a reincarnation of an ancient city called Gadea. Obviously, it deals with the legacy of colonialism, but it also resonates the idea of a sandpit, a castle that's being created uh, that children ordinarily do. And it's quite interesting for me to think about these uh, polemic issues that uh, polarize them and us, him and her. And if we're still playing in a sandpit of easy binaries, that work definitely refers to that. <laughs>